when i was watching the film i kept thinking about um how john berger had written that when you have nothing to lose when you have nothing at all then the only thing you have and you hold between your teeth is hope and that and he talks this and he says this about palestinian women years ago i was supposed to do a film in libya about uh, a, a girls school that was opening in libya that would be uh, free for girls to go which was at the time um you know unheard of and so then kind of all of the political unrest occurred in libya and i couldn't go but i told the woman who had you know had contacted me from the ngo i said if you ever hear of another great story please let me know i would love to do something and she called me one day two years later kind of out of nowhere and said you know i have this story it's about this woman she's starting a food truck and i was like oh that's interesting oh and by the way she's lived her entire life inside a refugee camp and her mother's lived there her whole life and you know she started going out and i was like oh i have to i have to do this so i think literally 3 weeks later i flew to beirut and tried to figure out how am i going to assemble some crew or something to to start ca capturing the story you know i think for me i get so i get so invested in the films but i get so invested in the people mm -hmm. and so you know i i it's hard for me to not inject myself and try to help you know and try to be part of a solution uh, as a filmmaker i think that's the the, the that restraint is most difficult I'm very impressed thomas to see that that's actually been your way of working where it's not just the film in which you bring a story to life on screen but you've left some kind of lasting tangible impact